Hey everyone, I wanted to give you a couple tips on viewing the Avacore display and also how to leverage the on-screen keyboard when choosing a Windows 10 device as your compute. So in this scenario, I've got a Windows 10 PC attached to my Avacore panel. And when you first boot up into Windows uh, attached to a panel like this, it's gonna assume that 300% scaling is the recommended size. And that's, that's just a bit too large when working you know, so closely up in the screen and, and touching and moving things around. So I'm gonna right click on the desktop by holding my finger down and tap on display settings. And you can see right there, it recommends 300%. And that's probably what it will default. Uh, it'll go to that by default. But if you change this to 200%, you're gonna get a better look. You're gonna be able to move, have multiple objects on the screen and just have a better touch experience when working with an interactive panel like this. Now, as far as the on-screen keyboard, let's go into Windows settings and go into typing. My typing settings here. And if I scroll down a bit under touch keyboard, you see that option that's turned off. Show the touch keyboard when not in tablet mode and there's no keyboard attached. If I have that setting off, any text box I tap into won't prompt me with a keyboard. So if I'm at the front of the room and even if there is a wireless keyboard in the center of the center of the table or something, you know, it's not convenient for me to, to type if I need to. So, but as soon as I switch this setting to on and then I uh, tap into any text box, my keyboard's gonna appear there right at the bottom. And I can go into the settings here and make this a floating keyboard if I want, or just change the way it looks, right? So you definitely need to, turn a couple things on when working with interactive flat panel and a Windows 10 environment. So that's why I wanted to show you today. Thanks for watching.